Hey guys, Victor from Victor G Photography here, and I'm back with another video. Don't mind my hair, it's a hot mess. Like I say every time, it's COVID, and well, I'm not really doing much with it. But I, I wanted to make a video just kind of a behind the scenes of another one that I did with a good friend of mine, Randy Marlene. She is an amazing model. I love shooting with her. I can't wait to shoot with her again. Um, she lives across the country and so whenever she comes down to california i always got to make the effort to go and see her and shoot with her so this one was a really fun one it was a few months back when it was a lot warmer and we went to this place in sacramento called dry creek it's this beautiful little area that has really warm water um, nice little soft sand a bunch of trees everywhere and we just had fun and did a bunch of shots there uh, I was rocking my Nikon Z6 with the 24 to 70 as well as the 70 to 200 2.8. I only used natural light for this one. Um, it was about four o'clock, so the sun was behind her, and so we were getting a nice little like rim light coming in. And so uh, because it was kind of like what you'd call golden hour, we were getting nice warm tones mixed with a lot of the green that was around it. It made some really beautiful images. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So starting off, you can see that we're in the little beachy area. Uh, I'm shooting with her completely in the shade. That way we're getting nice, even light. The sun is behind her. So uh, when we do step out into the sun a little bit more, she gets this really nice rim light around her. But uh, for right now, yeah, I'm just using my 70 to 200 just so that I have a good amount of distance from her. And then we're just uh, getting some nice shots with the background completely blurred out behind her. One thing that you may notice is that the background is um, evenly lit behind her as well. If you have somebody standing in the shadow uh, and then have the background still be in the shadows as well, everything will come out evenly exposed. If she was standing uh, in the complete shaded area within the shadows and then the background itself was a lot brighter to her, um, then that would be completely overblown. And um, so it's one of those things that you wanna really consider when you're taking photos out and about, just what the background looks like. Now with this lens, I'm, it's a 70 to 200 2.8. 2.8 isn't an extremely shallow depth of field, but when you're zoomed out to 200 millimeters, what that does is it compresses the background a lot, so everything uh, looks a lot closer and bigger behind the model. But with the 2.8 aperture, what that does is it makes everything a lot more blurrier. So it'd be the same as if I was shooting with like a 1.8 or even a 1.4. It just makes everything so creamy and blurred out and just looking fantastic behind the model. So you really just pay attention to her in the foreground. We had now moved over to this area in the creek that uh, had this fallen log. It makes a really great background, just uh, having her sit down in the water and then with the branches kind of all around it really framed her up. I think these images came out really good. You know, you don't always have to have your model standing, you never sitting, uh, doing different poses, just to kind of complement what she's wearing and uh, her physique and style. And then here we had her stand up in the water. Again, her back is to the rest of the creek. You can see that she's completely in the shadows so that uh, we're just getting even lighting all around her. And uh, I believe these images came out fantastic.
For this next bit, you can actually see how she's completely in the shade still, and I actually stepped into the bright sun. Uh, I have my lens hood on, but what this is going to do is it's going to cast a little bit of a glare into the camera and just kind of give like a little bit of a hazy fill into the uh, screen. It doesn't overblow her and it doesn't create any like artifacts or anything from the lens flare because I have the hood on, but with the images, you can see it just kind of gives this this nice like haze over it. For the last set here in the creek we had her put on this little tulle pink skirt and it just gives a little fun whimsical look um, the way that the fabric moves when she twists and turns plus also when it gets a little bit wet it kind of creates a little bit more texture and uh, weight to it And you can see here, she's actually standing a little bit more into the sun. Uh, you can see just how it highlights the hair as well as the dress and her back. So anytime that I'm shooting, she, her face and body is completely facing towards me. So it's completely shaded, um, but her back has this beautiful rim light, which makes some incredible images, kind of like a light ethereal look. I also grabbed a twig with some leaves on it and just held it in front of the lens uh, just to kind of give something to shoot through. Because you're shooting at such a shallow depth of field and at a long focus, those just blur out and just kind of frame the image up a little bit. So what did you guys think? Did you guys enjoy the video? Uh, shooting with Randy, like I said, she is a very talented model. She really knows how to hit her poses. She knows her angles and she's got this, this look about her that's very, you know, like she does the off stare, kind of like, ooh, and it's very smoldering. It really makes her stand out as far as all the models that I've worked with. She's got this great look and she knows how to work it. She's an incredible model. If you guys are in the Arkansas area or in the Sacramento area, definitely look her up, uh, book her. She is an incredible person to work with, super fun, very easy laid back, but you know, that's how it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, like, comment, subscribe. Also, you know, make sure you hit the bell notification so you're alerted to the very sporadic posts that I post every once in a while. I don't know, I'll try more. You expect more, I should probably be able to give you more. But other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in my channel and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.